Hi guys, my name is Roger, and ever since I was a teenager, I've always wanted to build my own car. I started this channel to see if an average person, like me, can design and build their own mid-engine car. If you like what you see here in my videos, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you know someone who you think might be interested in my videos, please share the videos with them. I'll be adding a new video every week, and with that out of the way, let's get started with this week's video. couple of quick notes before I get started tonight. Uh, got the parts in today to put my welder butt together, so I will be welding tonight. I know you've, uh, in the last couple of videos you've seen me fabricating a lot of parts. Since the welder wasn't operational, I've been cutting and fitting all of the metal components to be welded in for the frame. I think I've got everything cut and ready to weld, or at least real close to welding. Also been working on a mount for the steering rack here. Took a lot of measurements and trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. This is what I came up with. It'll weld across to the frame on the ends. And then I have to weld these mounting attach points onto this cross tube. And that is what the steering rack will attach to and mount to. So let's get started doing some welding tonight.
So I've got this welded as far as I can. I can't reach the other places I need to weld with it clamped to the table. So I have unclamped it and stood it up to where I can reach these final welds easy. It should be welded far enough along that it's not going to try to move or distort on me when I finish up these welds. I've got two more tubes to put in and several more welds that I need to finish up. I just couldn't quite reach. Some on the other side and inside corners and things that are just hard to reach. But coming along and I guess I will get started welding these places and putting these last couple of tubes in. And then this front section will be finished and we can start attaching it to the rest of the frame. Well, if I haven't missed any welds, the front end of the car is finished welding and ready to connect to the rest of the frame. Give you a little overview here. Looks pretty good. Before I connect it to the rest of the frame, I 
made some little brackets, these six little metal brackets here that need to be bolted onto the back of the frame. And these back four brackets are for an X brace that will bolt on on top of the transmission after it's installed uh, for support, for strength to span across the frame here. And these front two brackets here, there will be a tube running up to connect to the top roll bar up here. And that'll give uh, vertical strength down to this frame to keep it from flexing up and down. So I think I'm going to try to weld those six little uh, tabs, tangs to the frame first and then we will uh, look at setting everything up on the table and getting it lined up to connect to the front that we just finished welding.
it's time to do another update I have got both halves of the frame set on the table they're centered on the center line they're clamped down in place and they are spaced the correct distance apart so I am ready to start working on the tubes that join these two together these tubes have got to be cut and fit exactly and there's some crazy angles on them but starting to get big it's like a car Okay, well I guess I need to get busy welding. wanted to take a minute to show you guys this. I'm working on uh, joining the front frame section to the rest of the frame. And I've got everything clamped down on the table to the dimensions that are called out for by my uh, computer model. And just uh, trying to fit some tubes. I've got a tube that goes here, a tube that spans across here, and just working on getting the correct sizes dimensions. So what I did was one on a computer and I printed out some patterns for the two tubes based on my computer model just as a starting point see how close they would be to make some templates for these two parts and cut them out brought them down here and I dropped them in checking the fit and surprisingly they fit really nice it's the bottom one and the top one top one is just a touch long on this end it'll take just a maybe a sixteenth of an inch trim on it but other than that I'm pretty happy with them so I'm using these patterns 
these templates to cut the two tubes. And got the first two tubes cut. And they are fitting pretty close. I think I'm ready to tack weld these in. But both sides are cut and I'm happy with the fit on both sides. So let's go ahead and tack weld these two pieces in place.
So I have all four of these connecting tubes made. I fit them into place. They fit great. I've got them tack welded on the corners, ready to weld in place. Show you the other side here. So once I get these four tubes welded in solid, the frame will be one solid piece. Everything is connected together. And this will be a big step forward, hopefully in the right direction. Thank you.